Hello and welcome back to another episode of Outlast. In the last episode, uh, we we met a chainsaw buddy that didn't, who I think was the predecessor of the Borderlands. I guess. Yeah, he he got lost in the games and ended up in this one. But outside of him not wearing the clothes or the mask, thing is the same guy. He's basically the same guy. Anyway, we turned the gas on. We got chased out of the laboratory. No, no, no. I think we turned the gas off. Turn, turn the gas off. It's been a minute, okay. <laughs> Turned the gas off and ended up in front of a stairwell, so now uh, we shall continue. It's a spooky stairwell. I don't know how much I want to go down it. Everything's all, like, foggy and stuff, like... Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> With just sounds that don't make sense. Like, why are... Yeah, was that birds or frogs that we were hearing? Oh, I guess it does make sense. Jesus, what the fuck? What's the, the point of night vision if you can't see? It's the fog. We're just supposed to be following the light, I'm sure. This game's a lot more of an asshole than the original with its ambiance. The original is very, I don't want to say subtle, because it was anything but subtle. But at least, like, it wasn't ringing. It wasn't ringing the... <laughs> What the hell was that? I heard the footsteps, but that's... And then shit like that where it's just like... Just nothing happens. It just yells at me. That was a bunch of horse shit. We both jumped. <laughs> I think... I think some part of my stomach exploded. Not cool at all, game. No more sickness! Other side? Stairs. Okay, it's open. Fuck the fog. There's another door. You can see. Let me guess, he's using a head to play basketball with. He's playing alone and losing. That is what the game is. There is a mathematical proof. If you add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and so on to infinity, you can arrive at an answer. If you stop shy of infinity, you have an indescribably large number. If you continue all the way to infinity, you arrive at 1 12th. Negative 0 .083 repeating. I'm losing my grips on things. I'm thinking about the drive here. 400 miles in a rented truck. The job that shows up just in time to cover our bills, our debts, the insurance. The boy sleeping in the back, nothing but AM radio. Gospel, country western, late night, paranoia. Paranoiac. Paranoiac? Yeah. Talk radio. We sang Patsy Cline songs and laughed at conspiracies of aliens and ghosts. Mile marker numbers passing in headlights. I don't want to die here. He's going on about how much he doesn't want to die and his kids and stuff. Like, a lot in these little. I'm assuming they're just personal, like. You should probably just get ready to run. Okay. Why not? Okay. Radio? Oh. What's the point? Shut the door. You see behind the door? It's just like a little security post. Okay. No. I quit. I just I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. It would be <gasps> nice if we could see. Yeah, I'm fumbling like around in the dark here. I think I heard somebody. That's the guy playing by himself. <laughs> But like, There's no way it's to... one thing to be like, okay, here's a night vision mechanic. Cool, cool. You just can't see anything anyway. Cool. Have fun. Congrats. Well, I mean, the fog makes sense. It's just to... Uh... But like, I, don't know. I can see someone wasting their battery. Trying to see. Can we... 
No, try the one next one. Over. No, no, no. Well, actually, go up on that. No, that ain't no. gonna take us anywhere. I mean, they wouldn't have funneled us in here if this isn't... Maybe they would. What was the point of us going over there? Dakota, what was the point? Frustration, story, ambiance, character development. I don't know. I could come with a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> what, what, what character have we developed? Hey, you guys drove for this job from another place and you downgraded character development. I don't know of how much, but it was development of some sort. I mean, we've been playing a lot of Dark Souls and Bloodborne, and every time I see a body just hung over a railing, You're I'm like, all like, right, where's the, where's item? the item on him? Hey, go back. To your right? Oh, it's just... Treason. I think I just have to jump. Wow. You've got some legs. This oh. shit just... <sighs> what? What? <laughs> Anytime I babysit your kids, and they're like, Hey, Coda. I'm like, what? Hey, Coda. I'm like, oh my god, I'm not going to play this game. That kind of feels like what he's doing. Just, hey. Hey. I feel like I'm not supposed to... Jump down? Just jump down. Oh, look at you! Also, my fuck it re <laughs> kicked in. I'm just like, just jump down and die, and let's see what happens. Oh, was that not a... Okay, well, which that wasn't way, a then? stroke of brilliance. That was just me wanting to see you die. It backfired, like everything else. Which way am I supposed to go? There was pipes down there. Yeah, but there's not much direction. It's saved up here. We're doing something right if they're saving, right? Okay, we're gonna go back. We're gonna see what was <laughs> through the pipes. Through the pipes. Oh, shit. Well, it's... So I didn't even know you could do that. I just kind of, I saw it and I was like, oh, maybe it's an invisible wall. Maybe we can fit. Turns out we fit. Probably nothing back here. If the rest of this game is to be believed. Oh. A battery. A single Someone battery. Someone dropped Duracell back here. That's it. That's the, that's everything that's back here, Lee. That's it. No, come on. Are you serious? Try hopping on top of something. <laughs> That's it. Wow. That's it. Yeah, I don't like this one. <laughs> the the first the the original the base game was a lot. It was charming. You could see where it was trying. This is this just is not trying. This is just being a jerk. They're like, let's do some cheap jump scares. It's all very, yeah, it's all very cheap jump scares. Because if it was, like, the guy pushing in the fog, at least have us be chased. Don't just or, go away. Or I'm just bad. That could be it, too. I felt like I was running to, like, the worst possible places, but in the original, it would at least funnel you to where you needed to go pretty naturally. I think I only got stuck once or twice, and it was my fault. He looks nervous. I would like to kill him. What? As would I. You yeah, guys again? Those are the twins, right? That, yeah, I just assumed deep throaty voice and I'd like to kill him. It's just twins. It could be different people entirely, but I, it could be three people, but it's twins. <laughs> Ugh, I can't. This is awful. I don't like the. It's like, get rid of. At least make the fog slightly less dense. Just a little bit. This just feels like overkill. You gotta do it. Oh my god. Is there really no other place to go? Go get beat up. Oh, shit. 
Why is everyone trying to beat me up? I don't understand, Dakota. I don't know what's going on. Alright, I guess we're going up. Oh, we're going for the radio, right? Yeah. Is this the guard tower? I feel like it's just wasting our time more than anything. This will tell us why we can't go find it. Billings to Vigalondo. Patient Samuel. Samuel? Samuel. Kurt, we've got another one, and I'm not sure you're going to be able to check it off as psychopathic proximity disorder. Security guard all the way up in the admin block is our latest non-patient employee to start seeing Wenrick's fairy tales. He was never directly exposed to the engine, never even made it below level one in the building. It would be an enormous breach of protocol and security if doctors were speaking of the wall rider within hearing, within hearing of a contracted security guard, and seems vanishingly improbable that he would stumble onto such an obscure mythological story on his own. It's too similar to, doctors, to the Dr. Samuel case, or the others before him. It's one thing for formerly sane medical personnel to fall under the delusions of their patients. It's another thing entirely for those beliefs to be, I don't know, airborne. We need to talk in person. Billings. The guards are seeing crap. Also, not up here. I'm just running. There's a guy. That's I just said there was a guy! Did you not see him running? No. I would just mentally piss off at fog existing still, I think. <sighs> no, that, got to be... that radio doesn't count? Okay. There's gotta be a reason for those rooms. I don't think there is. I honestly think these rooms just exist. That seems just like a waste. <laughs> For an indie game? Yeah, it, I don't know. No, I get it. It's frustrating when you get a... They'll tell you it's science, but it's not. They were Wait, is that just like a tree in a void sphere in, back there? Like... I don't know. Billy understood. They've always been here. Can you be our friend? So these guys, from what I've noticed, is they're not... They're crazy. Some of them are crazy. Some of them are just... They're not, like, all effed up yet. I don't think the... Um... The doctor had gone through and... As I say that. I mean, all that's... Messed up right now is security personnel. Okay. 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 Alright, where are we going? Current objective. Short radio blue. Is this the prison? Is that the radio? I mean... Hoza! We found it! God, this guy really. Why? My mug! Wylan, you couldn't just. Couldn't just keep your mouth shut. Couldn't just play along. Are we gonna die like this? Oh, can Big Man save us? Do me a favor and die here, Park. Oh. Oh. Assuming the radio doesn't work. <laughs> Mother. The hell was that? Oh, you piss ant! Are you kidding me? I'm dead. Ah! Oh, it hurts. Why would he block the only exit? See, that's nice. I'm okay with that. That's that linear shit that I'm alright with. <laughs> Bye, guy. Uh. 
It's our buddy. How'd you know it was him? Did you hear, like, big stomping or what when we were getting our ass kicked? Just or? how he breathes. He breathes like a big man. Because <laughs> everyone else... I don't want to say they're skinny and whiny sounding, but you could just tell that he's deeper. Oh, look! Don't be afraid. You're doing his work. Whether you know it or not. Somebody who looks much as, as like a priest as this place looks like an asylum, writing instructions on the wall, talking about God, tells me not to be afraid. How was I ever a part of this inhuman bullshit, greed-driven moral genocide? The monsters Markov ripped from tortured minds, the lengths their jackbooted business school worms will go to protect it. Their own men slaughtered. I've never prayed in my life, Lisa, but if some small-minded inter interventionist God is listening... Kill Jeremy Blair before I die. Sanity and avarice. There's no pain he doesn't deserve. Oh, is Jeremy Blair Mr. Rasshole, though? Yeah, I think he's Mr. Suit. Uh, there is no radio, no hope of reaching the outside world. Only escape. Escape. But yeah, no, go look at him. Look at, like, his outfit. He's perfect. See all the buckles and shit? That was like, yeah, he's definitely a fucking patient. Alright, so... Now we're at this point in the game. Fuck you! Fuck you, you filthy priest! That guy's still locked in here. Oh wait, look. Go bang this one. Look at that one. So that one's alive. Fuck you! They were here in the original, right? The guy on the end that's yelling at you right now, guys. Wise. <laughs> Rick! Oh, from Blair. Fun hitting the greens last week. We should make the drive more often. Was Love reviewing you, bye. <laughs> was reviewing some old test records from the early days of Project Wall Rider, and something sparked my interest. Were you following the project back in 2010? Apparently, we had issues with female employees experiencing psycho psychomatic pregnancies. Something to do psychosomatic with psychosomatic pregnancies. I think that, without going any further, are the pregnancies that occur that don't aren't actually pregnancies, like Mary Tudor had, where okay. you think you're pregnant but you're actually not. And you, developed. You get all the are. symptoms, but yeah. you're not. Yeah. Something to do with how the morphi morphogenic engine interacts with the immune system. All Greek to me, am I right? <laughs> I hate him. I hate him so much. <laughs> I want him dead. Please be the final boss. <laughs> it was more often fatal than not, and these were employees and not patients, so a little harder to sweep under the rug. But the morphogenic engine activity in these ladies' morrow was off the charts. And these are women who were never even exposed to additional hormone therapy. Now, I don't know PPM from a kick in the teeth, but I can can't, but I can read a spreadsheet. And if pro the projected profits from Project Wall Rider are half what they say they are, I've just got one question. Why aren't we performing experiments on women? God knows mental illness is an equal opportunity affliction. Some unethical to pass up. Seems unethical to pass up on such a potential windfall. Sincerely, Jer. I hate him. I hope I kill him. That's why I'm like, I hope you're the final boss. Or big man eats you. There should be a little security guess. So what if you took all these battery or what if like you took all these batteries and then played the main game and then they're all gone and then you're like fuck <laughs> you just hose yourself in the main in the main game yeah. that would be a stupid but interesting mechanic I don't know what I'm running from yep there it is <laughs> Hey, it's loading. The really. jarring loading screen. I was like, there's got to be an open window because they, they made you use it. I appreciate the times. curtain. Yeah. I thought it would be back with all the rooms. You'd just go from room to room, you know what I mean? Yeah. But from the outside, like, that would have been a cool thing. It was just foggy a minute ago. I think. Here's the thing: in California, it'll be foggy, like super bad, like that, for a whole five minutes, and then it's gone and clears day. Or you can clearly open that. <laughs> that door's open. <laughs> he 
he's just sitting there like, it's not open. <laughs> I can say in it. I think, here's the thing, I will give him the excuse that at this point, maybe the weird shit that they did to him is kicking in and he's just crazy. He gets no excuses from me. <laughs> Mr. Park is dead to me. Because now we're out here playing what what is everywhere again. Okay. I'm here. Also, we can chill out on the drum beat. Right? Like, ugh. Thank you. <laughs> you heard our prayers, I think. Kind of. Ass ripping alligators, here they come. <laughs> I think somebody just got murdered. Why is the music... Also, why can't I pass through those trees? The music is just freaking out. I don't feel like I'm in any danger. All it's doing is just making me mad now. Like that chasing at the end, or just like, alright, we're done! Not even scary anymore. Fuck up. I'm just moving on. What the hell did I do? Oh, was that the electric? Did I turn off the electric fence? I think fence? you did. It's like, why did I even come down here and do that? Now I'm disappointed that you didn't make your stupid ass go touch the fence. Just I was for going to. Purposes. Just to make sure it electrocuted me? Yeah. Yes. power is still on. Electricity. I need to think, Lisa. I thought the power was evidence that some manageable, some human force still controlled some small part of Mount Massive. But nothing's human or sane and can do anything here but survive. And even that, not for long. You were always the reasonable one, Lisa. You would tell me to calm down, to take a larger view. Madness and inhumanity rule this place. Whatever is keeping the electricity flowing is trying to trap me here. I need to shut it down again? I would, I would go back and see just because. Ugh. <laughs> If Sir Beats a Lot isn't down there anymore, I'm gonna be a little sad. <laughs> Why? Because that means he's out with me! I guess that's true, but he was behind the door. Oh! Hey, he's not there anymore. I told you! this game anymore. I want to go home. <sighs> and he touched me! Ew! It looked like he almost bit you. Glad he's chasing after me at a brisk, a brisk jog. Are we above? I think we're above. That's, oh, yeah, that's, yep, you are. I think. Yeah, because it his blood trail out of I was the noticing the grate, and I was like, I was hoping something didn't drop down on me. supposed to be doing exit via the admin block. Fuck it, take your chance with the alligators. 
Okay. Heard us, apparently. Nope, no it isn't. I'm out of the water. Can't hurt me. If I don't see it, it can't hurt me. The music really needs to chill out. <laughs> It would be so easy. I don't believe in it anymore. Getting the truth out. There is no truth. Only lies we've accepted too long to double back on. It's our children, Lisa. I would take the easy way out if it wasn't for the boys. Damn this place to hell. I'll suffer anything to get out of it. So why are we going up? This seems like the worst idea. Good hop. Mr. Park has... It was so hot. It was so... It was so hot. It was such a good hop with the drum stop for a minute. I was like, oh yeah. Spooky. You're being chased. I'm probably being chased and there's someone that's just clipping a wall somewhere. <laughs> that's why, like, I was supposed to be being chased this entire time. I'm just like, no. Alright. Out we go. Can I just jump? Mount Massive. Massive. Yep. This seems like a euphemism. Do it! YOLO that shit! I also just kinda wanna see you die. I forgot who we were playing. Mr. Park! Get oh, we're dead. I'm, you're dead, I'm sorry. Every bone in your body is broken. What was your plan? Okay. Well, we're up now. And probably somewhere awful. I can't hear anything because of the music. Sounds like there's a couple of people talking up here. someone run. Like Said so they're gonna feed us to Gluskin? Give us to Gluskin? I just know that when they find you, you're gonna be their goat. I'm gonna be the goat? Yep. Get for the groom. I think it's two dudes emulating the family. I mean, that's best case scenario. I don't want to run into... I don't want to run into, like, a family of dudes up here, but... Oh. Back inside. Like, the harder I try to escape, the deeper I get. Dead men aren't a surprise anymore. Suicide seem wise. Are they talking about poor Billy, or keep going to the left? This way? Yeah, there's another 
Ah. I gotta keep my usefulness up for you. <laughs> I wanted to talk about Billy or ah! kill the rat. He's here inside the walls. Kill him. Uh, no, let's well, not. Also, yes. Picked up a battery. Like, the music at this point is just kind of annoying. It is. It's obnoxious. At least, and of course, as we say that, it calms down. Yeah, I just want to see... I'm going to look it up after this is done. And see if somebody has, like, a layout of this place. If it makes sense within the world how it's... How it's built. Because this is... Also, these walls are thick as shit. Yeah, there's no girls here, so... I think you're right in that it's... They're emulating a family? Only one guy. That doesn't make me feel. You can't do that. Got away! The groom will have us. Shut up. I do appreciate how uh, these crazy people don't know how to climb. Don't <laughs> say that! This is literally a sewing sweatshop. Saying, I think... I think I just instinctually... A man's body mutilated and bent to mimic or mock the moment of birth. The kind of thing a man cannot see without changing in some irreparable way. Lisa, I was with you when both our boys were born. It was, until recently, the most miraculous thing I had seen. Completely outside of reasonable belief, and yet somehow central to everything I've come to believe since. You always said I was too literal-minded, tried to turn everything into an if-then statement. Lately, I've widened my horizons. How can the things I've seen here be? But I know the answer. Money. Profit. Things we made just because we could. Well, that's awful. That's not in blood. Don't trust it. Can anyway. There's really no nowhere to go. Believe it or not, you are progressing. Yeah, I mean, I'm moving forward, but I have a sneaking suspicion something's going to try to eat me soon. God! Ah! Um. Just a 
Though it seems like a sleepy time, I'll be Let me see. Nope. You'll have to be alone. You can make the call. I can feel that energy. So that's a dead end, I have to go back, right? Yeah, I guess maybe he opened the door. Maybe he wants to fill your emptiness. Or unless maybe he opens that door. I'm booking it. I'm booking it before he has a chance to. Oh no. Cool. There's my God. God! Oh, what the shit? I don't think I did. I got hit in the back. <clears throat> oh, and the step on the foot, the head killed me. I feel like we're getting to one of those annoying parts that I'm going to hate. <laughs> I don't know what do. I'm just so glad that you're vaulting over tables. I didn't know you could vault over. <laughs> it's like, ugh, are I'm you serious? serious? Why are you right there? I want you. No. Help me out. YOLO, motherfucker! <laughs> Osha would have a field day in this building. Ah, and our foot's broke. Ow! Rather die than be with me. Camera away of automatic. Darling, I think I was supposed to come in here. Can't hide from me. Why? <laughs> you make yourself a gift. A delicacy to be unwrapped. A 
and unwrapped again, and savored. Here we go. I'm not okay with whatever's happening. I see I... lights. I think we're going out a window. I've been a little vulgar. I want to say I'm sorry. I just... You know how a man gets when he wants to move. But after the ceremony, I've made an honest woman of you. I promise. I have a feeling you gotta censor whatever's about to be done to us. <laughs> Meaning I have to stare at this for a bit. I want a family, a legacy, to be the father I never had. I'll never let anything happen to our children. Not like... So I'm assuming this is the Gluskin that the guy upstairs was talking about? I wonder, yeah. When we came down the stairs, he's like, oh, right into, a, right into his own hands or something like that. You must be as eager as I am to consummate our love. No. But try to enjoy the anticipation. I'd really rather not. Here, darling. This will help you. How does the how does he have access to this? Maybe he is a doctor of some sort. He's not Doctor Gluskin. He's Mister Gluskin. Twelve hours later. Oh, good. We're still in the locker room. Someone else was there. Wasn't us. Darling, I need no. you to try to bleed no. less. No. 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 I know no. the fair no. sex no. often endures the same wounds with your suffering, no. but you really need to make an effort. Wow! Why? No, I'm so sorry, darling. Love isn't for everybody. We're next. That's the thing. There's a torso over on the other table. Oh. Just throw them off. Can we get a loading screen? I need a minute. Hold still now, darling. Nope. Nope. All yeah. these unsightly hairs. Oh, silky smooth, like a little girl again. Now the worn, delicate bits. No! No! Don't! Please! Why? He's making the vagines. Why? Because he wants oh, that lady bit. Uh, you're ugly. Uh, it's getting up. You know if you work straight enough. Oh God! Please. Ah! And at that point, that's just mercy. <laughs> this is awful. Uh, no. Yep. Yep. Oh. This is happening. <laughs> Ah oh, no! Fuck. We're pretty loaded. You're going to be. Lee, look at straight at the dick. <laughs> Are you able to move? A now? woman has to suffer some things. It's not pleasant, I know, but just try to endure, for my sake, for the sake of our children. I guess I shouldn't just sit and stare at it. <laughs> Cut away everything vulgar. A soft place to welcome my seed. I don't want to welcome your seed. Oh, no. The incision no. of the no. 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 and the conception. And birthing is never easy. I make a cut first. Just close my eyes. I don't want to lose them! Oh, are you not able to? <laughs> oh, thank God! Fuck! 
And of course, the first thing we do is grab our camera. Are we naked and afraid? I think we're. I think we're oh. super naked. Oh yeah. I don't even have a dick to be exposed, and I feel exposed. Yeah, I, that's the worst part of this, is that I'm just flopping around <laughs> everywhere. And... I'm trying to teach it, Scott. Oh, F off. Can you even? Like, he can run after you. You're just hobbling with a broken leg. You're fucking I'm hobbling as much as I can. Is there a door? Oh, you're right. But I don't yet yeah, not bother with the uh mess of the wall now. No. You're out of batteries. This is awful. Okay. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Lee, don't you know? You need to become his darling! I don't want to! The fact that you have no light left on your battery is just like. Uh... Yeah, did he take that? Because I had a couple extra batteries. Low speed chase. I would try anywhere you can't see right now because they've been catching the beat. Yeah, I'm just kind of getting. I'm not gonna bother closing. Just need to get away. Because I didn't even realize that you had a chip back. Come on, go that way! I mean, it's already broke. It's already broken. Go! You and the rest of these ungrateful sluts! Wait, did he jump down? There's someone down there with you. Is there? Oh, it's a bush. It cannot be worse than... <laughs> they cannot be worse than this man. Also battery. Yeah. Eddie Gluskin, patient age 46. Uh, therapy status. Lucid dreaming figures remain as murky as ever. Gluskin claims near constant control of his dream state, yet correspondence between his narrative and REM cycles. Highly arrhythmic REM and NREM, morphogenic, morphogenic engine activity uh, plateaus at 90 ppm. Diagnostics. Heavy bronchial accumulation. The rashes associated with hormone therapy have receded and vanished some since we stopped using latex tubing. Interview notes. Gluskin remains a frustrating interview subject. He's still trying to tell us what he thinks we want to hear while studiously avoiding certain elements of the truth. His childhood remains an obvious fiction. He's claiming to have grown up in a leave-it-to-beaver despite a traumatically violent ongoing sexual experience that is a matter of public and medical record. When I confronted him with the photographs his father and uncle took, he responded with a mixture of laughter and anger, and restraints were issued. He similarly refuses to discuss his victims, both categorically and specifically. When I showed him pictures of the women, he would not admit that they were dead or mutilated. He is claiming advanced advancement in the morphog morphogenic engine program that he has not yet achieved. Said that he could clearly hear the voice of the wall rider just by closing his eyes. Clearly he's still trying to curry the favor of his doctors. I won't speculate at what he expects to gain by it. So, I think that's like a... Uh, one flew over the cuckoo's nest situation. I don't think he's crazy. I mean, I think he's a psycho. But it sounds like he's like... He was sexually abused as a child, and he murdered a bunch of women, and that's why he's here. 
but the fact that he's actively trying to uh, mislead the doctors, I guess, makes me think that he's he's like pretending to be crazy a bunch of amongst a bunch of crazy people. But he's yeah. yeah, but he's telling them, and he's like, yeah, he's telling them this is what they want to hear. But yeah, so. I'm assuming that's who that is. is but. I, f- I hate to say this. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. That's a book and a movie? Or just yes, a book? Uh, it's a book movie. Had Jack Nicholson in it. Uh, 1960s, 70s, somewhere in there. Okay. Old movie. Worth a watch. Yeah, I'll probably, give, I'll, I'll probably make that my homework next week. Next time. <laughs> it's a long movie. Oh, I'm sure it is. If I can sit through, I think, Interstellar, I think I'm good. Because Interstellar had like a, an hour of like pre movie. It was necessary. It was a really good movie, but the, the it's like a three hour <laughs> movie, and that first hour was all set up for it was science. All set up, yeah. Well, I think we will sit out and enjoy the tranquility that is not, not being Jesus. <laughs> not being having our junk. No, I think we still, yep, still junk. Still junk. All right. <laughs> well, at least we can't see it. I can see my foot. Why are you trying to see it? Why are you trying Dude, to see it? Dude, did you not word? see our package? Anyway, <laughs> till next time, thank you guys for tuning in.